welcome to another NICAR Tech Enablement webinar hosted by CRE Collaborative to our Tech Enablement Solution. I want to thank each of you for coming out, making time to stay with us, to learn how to use technology to advance your business, to do more business and new. It's much further, much faster than ever before. Joining me today is David Perlmutter of Quantum Listing to talk about putting your listings in the right marketplaces at the right time in the right way to ensure that you're transacting much further, much faster. So again, thank you, Nightcar, for partnering with us to host these, and thank you to all our attendees for making time to show up. David, welcome. You're on mute. Just give me a thumbs up. You can hear me. Fantastic. So let's get ready. Let's get set. Let's close more business. Set ourselves up for a successful, more successful 2021. When we talk about get ready, get set, and close, setting yourself up in 2021, what we really mean is making sure you have a digital presence online. And that your digital presence is authentic and matches your real world persona. David will tell you, and he and I have met at many conferences, and many of you at NICAR, we've been at conferences, ICSC, Revolution, and others, meeting, discussing, talking, exchanging deals. It's how the industry has always worked. Well, today we're not out there exchanging our deals. We're not talking. We're not at these broker breakfasts. So how do we still continue to exchange our deals and promote our business, ourselves, our brand every day out to the industry? The Siri Collaborative Platform, in its mission to drive technology enablement across the commercial real estate industry, provides a host of solutions and partner technologies, one of which is a connectivity engine called the My Social Tool. The My Social Tool seamlessly integrates your digital twin, your persona, out across all of your social networks. So as you can see here, I've switched over to the Creco platform, Creco.ai platform, and I'm looking at my broker profile. This is who I am, these are the assets I focus on, and the markets, background, and affiliations I have. Additionally, all of my social links are here. Most importantly, all of my assets are here. So whether I'm a developer, whether I'm an owner, whether I'm a broker, whether I'm an investor, your inventory of deals, your past projects, your active on market deals or private deals, uh, pocket deals, everything can be shown or hidden in a way that makes sense to your business. This becomes a single aggregate source of truth or a launch pad, if you will, for your digital twin to network for you out across social media. Case in point, you'll notice throughout our platform, the ability to push and post out to social media or email any property from any page and or profile. So as I click here into the Royal Pines Professional Office Building, I'm shown all of the information that has to do with this deal. Not just information I've brought in as a broker, but supplemented or appended to that is information that partner technologies have brought in. So it's very important to note that Siri Collaborative System services the right data at the right time to the right party or platform. What I mean by that is not only do we have what was made available for this deal, but then we have partner data, zoning data, economic due diligence to ensure that you're operating in the right markets, I should say, marketplaces as David, we'll talk in a little while, uh, but in the right markets in the right sub-markets. Many of us have a lack of products to push today. There'll be much more products coming on very soon, and presumably many of you work with investors, not just tenants, not just landlords. Those investors are going to be looking to pick up assets, and you want to be sure that you advise them to pick up assets in the right areas because that area is rebounding faster than others. As you can see here, I'm not going to go this close to Manhattan. I wonder why. We all watch the news. It's just the way of the world right now. So as I go further up, I can see that these markets, and this is trailing 24-month data with 30-day update, are stronger. The economic growth, the new jobs being created in these markets, like Wallingford in Connecticut, are incredibly strong. So that's where I want to be. More importantly, this is where I am, located. So how do I get myself out to my market, start getting leads, start getting new business calling into me? You set your profile first. Define who you are, bring on your deals. And if you're a quantum listing subscriber, we can bring them in for you. If you have them in an MLS, we'll bring them on for you. 
wherever or however you have them, we want to bring in that data and then make it available to our ecosystem, as well as make it available out to any platform or subscription service you're using to push that distribution, that platform. Now, using the My Social tool, which I touched on earlier, now we have a defined persona, a defined business. My Social tool is going to give you the ability to monitor, manage, and otherwise accelerate your online return for social media. As far as tracking your website and your blog, it will track your views, visits, and so forth, from where, what site, from whom. But most importantly, and let's not forget, uh, many, of you, many of you have heard me say this, I was the guy who said Twitter was for those that couldn't write and Instagram was for those that couldn't read. I've had to walk those statements back because my clients are there, my customers are there. The industry is online in these channels. Through Facebook alone, we've seen tremendous growth through this system, posting out our properties, but actually an even bigger growth, posting out our team, talking about the members of our company, because people are relating to that person. Then they're drilling down, looking at the assets they've sold or have available, and then reaching out. As you can see here, we include all the major social channels, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, my favorite at this time is Google My Business. Most businesses don't know that you can actually post in the Google My Business. So through this system and by promoting your properties regularly, you're ranking yourself above your competitors on Google My Business, which is now netting our brokerage on average two calls a week. People are moving into the area, they're changing locations, they're, they're just in a shift. And then what are they doing? They're opening their phones and they're Googling commercial real estate agencies. And because I'm on Google and because my business is there and because Google goes and looks on Facebook and its algorithms check all of these platforms, it sees that we are a competent and tech-enabled competitor in space and it ranks us up and gives us these leads. Additionally, this is a guide on where you should be. Do you need a Facebook account for your business? Well, your audience is there. If you want more business, why not? Especially in a controlled way that is a set it and forget it. System, posting your deals, posting your properties. Instagram is incredibly powerful right now for the younger brokers, investors, lenders, and owners. They're all on using it. I am not, I do not have a, a marketing person. I have the My Social tool, which does this for my brokerage, and that's it. As far as LinkedIn, same concept constantly promoting you can see the difference between when i didn't have it on and the day i turned it on the growth is there for you to show and not just show and learn from on your own and receive those leads but as you're doing business you can look into it real time let's say you're talking with an owner and you're on a zoom call he says well what are you marketing how are you marketing above and beyond the rest obviously we are doing traditional marketing we're on loop net more importantly we're on quantum listing uh, which is a much better solution for a lot of reasons. David will go into and a few other places. We are in the New England Real Estate Journal, which for us is the biggest publication. But we are also on social media. And then I always pull up a competitor in my discussion. I go, well, this is the next name brand someone would recognize in my market. I say, well, so this is us on social media, and Red is them. And just like that, without saying anything more, who would you pick in that scenario to promote your business? Four or one? Who is pushing more content? Who is in front of more people? The answer is in front of you. Thousand, a hundred. And without, and not to say that this particular brokerage doesn't do very well, they do. It's just a different mindset of doing business. It is a technology enabled architecture or mindset to move forward. Additionally, you can review, track, and otherwise optimize your keywords, your social media posts. The system will tell you when to post and how to post. So you can see here, the platform itself is posting our properties, our, our profiles at times in the market when people are online. And by market, I mean online to social media. If you want to initiate your own post, you can simply come in, type in the details, least 10,000 square foot, uh, retail, 
Virginia details add a picture and now notice Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google My Business and Instagram all at once already. Right then track to see how it does. Adjust your messaging and move forward. I'll pause here because there's an incredible tool over at Quantum Listing with Google Ads that's gonna, gonna come over and it's a big part of what you can do there. So I wanna make note of that. However, a big part of what we do that's unique to us above and beyond the My Social Tool is the Instagram link. Using our tool, you can actually have a clickable Instagram. So each of your properties, profiles, things you post, come back to something that can convert into leads. Instagram doesn't have this. Other platforms don't have this. So many of you, uh, if you've been doing this a long time, have had SEO consultants, have updated your website and gone, why am I doing this? It's just there. Well, now more than ever, people have to find you in the just there. And the internet is a big and scary place. And a majority of your traffic that goes to the website, if you're tracking it, you're not is anonymous. So how do we take that anonymous traffic and turn it into a customer or a client to close transaction? Well, you have to convert it into a lead. And to do that, you need things like forms and buttons and other CRM-like tools. Case in point, Agile CRM is a connected tool of ours. So I jump over. This tool allows us to create forms, email message, email broadcast, and track everything and anything along our pipeline. As far as creating forms, these forms then are populated on our website. Hold on, somebody in my house is playing PS4, I can already tell, because I just got a tremendous slowdown in my network. So here we have the different revenue, how much in each bucket. Our contacts, our outreach, what are we doing? What does it look like? This is broker. What are we doing with this broker? What deals is he involved in? Oh, he's looking for a restaurant. Here it all is. Wait a minute. No, it's actually all here as well. So the Creco AI mission in tech enablement is not just to give you some solutions we built. Most importantly, it's to customize a dashboard of all your solutions and all your data, connecting you to them at a moment's notice, and then educating you as to which ones you may not have that will solve your needs. My social is just a giant leap forward in that area, but one of many. As we talk about pushing your data out there, uh, just as important as, as passive networking is active networking. So we give you the tools to search our network, to search the industry at a property level, at an asset level, and at a company level. So who am I looking for in what role? So I'm looking in the Chicago area. And in Illinois, I need, I don't know, uh, I'm sure Bill Caton's in here somewhere. Give me a second. So just type Bill in, search network. And here we have Bill Caton. Bill Caton, as you all know, as president of Nikon, has his own assets, his own style, his own affiliations. As members of Nikon, your profile is already here for you. So, Bill, here's his background, where he works, his affiliations, then his assets. And when we start to talk about his assets, let's look at 816 North Washington. So, here at 816 North Washington, we have the ability to pipe in or populate any other additional data you have from any other source, giving you this single dashboard, same time connecting the same data out to your CRM or other platforms. As an example, we have economic due diligence data, zoning data. So now more than ever, it's harder to get into town hall. So what do you do? You look up an asset in a new market, you want to advise an investor on it, but you need to know first what's happening with that asset. Notice 816 North Washington, by clicking on the land checks widget, I'm now brought over. I can actually look at the actual zoning data on this asset, around this asset. What is being applied for? Here at number five, subdivision, conditional use, a change, a developer's coming in to do something. This could drastically change my value or my purpose, my net present use, future present use. How do I adjust? How do I advise my clients to adjust? I recently got into a debate with an AI expert on uh, AI replacing us. It's not gonna happen. There's a human element here. 
and data, we know what needs to happen to make things grow. David can speak to this, he's a developer, shopping center expert. There's so much that goes into advising a client, but those of us that advise first and then bring this value can only be helped by knowing more. And this allows you to know more in every market as you do business. It even gives you the ability to switch over to a dashboard view and keep a prize. Let's say you have a portfolio of properties. And again, this is the land checks partner and understand what's happening in that market as you move forward. So you purchased an asset, you're getting zoning approval, but hey, wait a minute, there's three other applications for a similar use that have now popped up. These are all things you need to know. And normally, if you're on top of town hall, great, but you can't go to town hall. How do you get this data? This is how. Additionally, zoning data is one thing. What about the economics of that deal, of that market? Am I in an area that is growing and rebounding at, at a higher level than others. Well, in this case, we're just inside the orange, barely. That puts us in the top 20 to 40% of economic job growth in the last 24 months trailing with a 30-day update. That's real-time data, everyone. So these are shifting constantly. I would be much better served if I could go down and do buy a similar property in Boiling Brook based on this indicator than I am in this area. But this is only one of 11 indicators. There's 11 indicators are shown here. I'm not gonna go into all of them or else we'd be here all day. But this just again gives you an example of how by taking one set of data, appending an additional set, or appending more data, you start to get more and more intelligence that you can then use to leverage or leverage to get your client into the right asset or out of an asset at the right time. All right, with that, I'm gonna pause, check for questions, bear with me. David, again, welcome. Could you introduce yourself while I check for questions? Thank you, Andreas. Uh, thanks for having me here today and hello to uh, all you nice Chicagoland people. Uh, so thanks uh, for having me. So I'm David Perlmutter. I am the founder of Quantum Listing, which is a commercial real estate listing service. And like uh, just about everybody else, presumably on this call, I am a commercial real estate broker and uh, I started in the industry in 1986. So, uh, and I started Quantum Listing uh, because I wasn't really happy with the listing solutions uh, I had at the time. And I wanted to create something that reflected, you know, what seemed to me like uh, where the industry was headed, not where it started. And so one of the things that uh, we did is we made it very affordable. So you can, for $89.99 a year, you can add as many listings as you want. So if you're using some of the legacy services, they charge you per listing. If you have something that's for sale or for lease, they want you to have that count as two different listings. And you know, it's just, you end up spending, you know, if you have, I have a 15 listing plan and it's thousands and thousands of dollars versus $90. So, and in particularly in today's world, uh, where you, um, you know, you don't, you want to minimize your visits to sites with people just because of COVID. You want people to see the sites, of course, and you know, you will, you know, just like I do, go visit the sites when we have to. But to the extent that we can sort of qualify people and really gauge their interest. Uh, virtually ahead of time, it certainly is better for everybody's health. So one of the things that I started doing on my uh, Perlmutter Properties quantum listing account is not only do I have a listing for each property that I'm marketing, I've drilled down and made a listing for each space that I'm marketing within that property. So, you know, and there's a few advantages. One, you can have uh, uh, the separate uh, floor plan for each space, separate pictures, separate video, and it makes it much easier for potential uh, prospects to 
you know, negotiate uh, the space and really see what it's about. They don't have to sort through the different spaces uh, and figure it out, uh, you know, which pictures go with which and things like that. And the other thing is, you know, we all live on the internet these days. I, I was looking at a chart this morning from the National Highway uh, you know, the Association. Traffic was down, you know, actual, you know, vehicular traffic was down like over 20% in 2020. And I imagine the same as at least, you know, until people are widely vaccinated, still going to be down at least 20%. So you really need to, you know, have your digital strategy amped up. So something like, you know, my social that Andres was showing is fantastic because you have to find people where they are you can't necessarily count on them driving past your wonderful leasing sign. Anyway, you still got to have the leasing sign. Believe me, you don't want to you know, skimp on the leasing sign, but you need to have a greater digital presence. So having each individual space on, um, on you know, a service like ours uh, certainly helps. You can then turn around and use our iframes to serve those spaces to your website so that you don't have to uh, add information to multiple locations um, and those things get updated in real time and then you can also sort of tweak the headline you know the subject line of your listing to see what makes it most uh, attractive to search engines because you know, when Google, when you're on that first page uh, of Google, you are golden. And uh, so, you know, I've you know been able to play with things. So you know, it takes if you write a subject line, you add a listing. Google doesn't find it the first day and put it right on the first page. It takes a little bit of time. But what I've seen recently with some of these experiments that we've been doing is. You know, within a week, I can end up on the first page of Google, and that's by adding the um, you know the things to the su subject line into the description that I know are going to be Google friendly. Because before I start looking at how I'm adding those listings, I'm going to Google other my competitors and see what's showing up on the first page there, and I'm going to use things that seem to be working for them for myself you know it doesn't have to be a great big secret if you put uh retail space for lease uh in chicago illinois you're going to create what's called a, a natural language uh, search you're, you're basically using the language that people use when they're searching for your subject line and therefore it's going to rank higher in google so that is great. But you know, how many people in any given day are searching for whatever it is that you have? So is there another strategy that you can implement to get to the front page faster, uh, to get people to click onto your listing faster and, and get more people exposed to it? And so one of the things that we've come up with on Quantum Listing is we've started uh, last year having a service it's a an added service that you can do where with just a few clicks you can have your listing show on the google display network the google display network are the ads that we all see every single day when we visit the websites that we normally visit more than 80 percent of advertisements on websites are served by the google display network so you get huge huge coverage uh from that so and, these, are the, these are the ads I'd see like if I was on Amazon. I'm right. So, right. Yeah. So it's going to be an ad on the left, an ad on the top, an ad on the right, an ad on the bottom. And Google, you know, th those guys are really, really smart. So they've got these algorithms and they figure out, you know, let, let's look at your ad and let's figure out the right people to serve it to. They're not just going to serve it you know, to random people, they're doing, you know, finding affinity groups uh, with their machine learning and their artificial intelligence to make sure that your listing goes for the most part to the right people. So for $25, you're going to get between 15 and 25,000 views of your listing 
on websites that people are normally surfing. Uh, surfing. So it could be you know a shopping site. It could be a news site. You know it, any kind of uh, website. And from those twenty five thousand views, you're going to get a couple of dozen clicks. Now you say, okay, well, you know, 25 clicks, 25,000 views, that's actually really, really good. <laughs> okay, these are 25 clicks you wouldn't have gotten anyway. And if you are spending money uh, yourself doing the Google search ads, those are, you know, the list of results that you get when you type in a Google thing, you could end up paying $25 in a market like Chicago for a single click. So, you know, you're getting 25 times 25 the clicks for about 25 bucks. So it's an incredible deal. So, and you get a lot of traffic. So if you've got a, a listing that, you know, your principal is like, you know, hey, you know, we're not getting enough action on this. What can we do to, you know, mix things up, you know, change things around? I would say, try this, see if it works. You, like, you know, we spend, uh, you know, I don't know, if, if you're not working uh, exclusively from home and you're going and buying coffee, you're probably spending more than 25 bucks at Starbucks uh, every week. So invest $25 into your business and see if it works for you. And every day, at the end of the day, you'll be able to log into your quantum listing account, see the results, uh, the number of clicks and views that you've gotten. And... You know, at the end of the week, that, that $25 will run for four or five days. So at the end of the week, you'll say, gee, this really worked. I got a lead or I got some calls or I got people clicking. And, you know, maybe I need, you know, 100 people to click on it before I really get a, a bona fide lead. But it's just another great way for you to make up for the deficit of traffic that uh, you, you would have gotten out there moving yeah. about. Yeah. Exactly. So, and you can show your client this. You can yeah. show him the track, the things that you're doing that others are not. Right. It's Absolutely. What I find. Right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's it's incredible, and I and I love pointing to your platform. You're the first crowdsource platform with the 2.0 mentality of bringing in deals, and that's part of the way quantum listing quantum listing and crypto.ai work together is we're a connected universe. So yeah. instead of going everywhere redundantly entering data, like you mentioned. Uh, Enter it once, and then have it distributed to everything you use. Unlike those that we will not mention, where they hold it all in hostage, uh, these new this new generation of technology and leadership in technology, David, myself, others, where it's no, you're the customer. Of course, we'll move it where you want us to move it, and we'll do what you want. But here's what we do very well, and you should you listen to us. That's uh, that's a dynamic shift, and then the paradigm shift that COVID has caused has just accelerated that. I know, uh, at least in my platform, we have 200 visitors daily. I mean, that's an incredible amount. Given that we're not a we're not a listing platform, yeah. we hold data and we push data to other places, and we allow you to promote yourself. Uh, we facilitate that even, but in general, quantum listing is is there to to accelerate you right to the buyer and user and the brokers. Uh, and I, I believe you have some groups and networking too, if I recall. That is correct. So we've tried, you know, tried to come up with innovative ways for you to market uh, your listings to your colleagues, and you know, among those are the our networks and groups. And with our groups, you can do group chats where you can put information about your listings in them, including a hyperlink to your listing, either on our site or even on your own company website. And uh, so. At the end of the day, people are going to get a digest, uh, you know, email saying, "Hey, you know, you've got a notification. Uh, there's, you know, something waiting for you in your your group on quantum listing with a link to that. You click on that, and then you can see, you know, what your your colleagues are or have posted, or they can see what you have posted there. So without having to send an email, creating a template, you know, you're just finding a super fast and easy and effective way for you to reach people that you might, <clears throat> you might not have reached anyway. You can also, you know, send we, you know, uh, emails from our system to one or two people or to your own proprietary email list that you upload and, you know, that stays your email list. We don't, you know, go and steal your email list. And 
you know, it pre-populates, you know, a template with the vital information about your listing. And then uh, if people click on it, it'll send them to quantum listing so that they can get everything about it. So, you know, we're really trying to make it, you know, super easy and for you to reach as many people as possible with as little effort as possible. But you do have to put some effort in. Got to show up. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. nine tenths of the job. You got to at least show up. Uh, how you cover the last last square mile is it's up to the technology you use and the processes. But you touched on something important there. Uh, your data. In your platform, you own your data. In my platform, you own yep. your data. We, the platforms, do not own your data. We do not resell your data. It's there. Uh, it's yours. So bringing on your contacts, your deals, your comps, even if you choose to, especially in ours. Uh, those are yours, the private notes, private documents, private things that we then can make available to other systems. Not everyone can make that claim. So as you're out there looking at these companies, these technologies, and trying to figure out what your 2021 technology stack is, just as important as having a digital twin and a digital presence is saying, well, wait a minute, what am I solving for? What, what Am I filling my pipeline? Am I closing my pipeline? Am I looking for new business? Or am I expanding my team? Or am I doing all of the above? Should be doing all of the above all of the time. Equal, not somewhat equally, but close. And then is it prospecting, inventory management, or client relationship management? There are tools and processes that you have tried and true, have made you, through tried and true process, you've become successful, presumably. We're going to accelerate that. I think it's a fair statement. We're going to listen to you and, and at least in our system specifically, we're going to customize everything around that. And we're going to say, hey, have you thought of this? Quantum listing is a great example. Have you promoted here? Because if you haven't, you should be. As I showed before, Agile CRM, are you using a CRM tool or are you just still on Excel? It's by uploading with us or with Quantum, bringing it and having a central repository and now pushing it over to the proper platforms so you can fulfill your processes in an accelerated way. So you're going to close more business. I did have a question here. What was the cost of quantum listing? So, uh, so the basic, uh, if you're posting listings, it's eighty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents a year for unlimited listings. Uh, then you have, you know, a host of other things that you can add on uh, if and when you want to, you know, such as as having, needed. Yeah. So. And, you know, things like, you know, having your listing show up at the top of a search in your market, promoting your personal brand or your company brand in the market so that when somebody searches, you know, Chicago, your marketing message is going to show up at the top of the searches. And especially if it's right next to your listing, you know, it really, you know, it's like a one-two punch that makes you seem uh, like the go-to person in that market. Uh, and, you know, and then of course, you know, the Google display ads and uh, you know, a few other. Well, what about searching? If I'm, if I'm a buyer invest, if I'm the investor or I'm a broker looking for assets, do I pay the searcher system? As a broker, what do we want? We want as many people as possible to search our listings. So why put up a paywall or make somebody register in order to see your listing? You know, right. they can go to your website if they just did a little bit more work, right? So, you know, it's free to search. If you want to be able to say you don't have listings or you don't want to post them on our site, you know, that's okay. We don't understand why you wouldn't want to post them, but if, you know, that's your choice. Uh, and if you do choose uh, to just be a, you know, a searcher or a browser, you can take a basic membership, which is absolutely free. And that'll allow you to save uh, listings and create listing reports and, and things like that. So, you know, it becomes more of a useful tool if you just sign up for the free membership. And then once you decide to market your listings and yourself, then you would want to have the $89.99. And $89.99 a? A year, not a month, a year. So And what's that divided by 365? Less than the cost of a pack of gum a day, give or take? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so that that's that's the point. Affordable uh, is another uh, standout feature of both our platforms and our partner platforms. This mentality of affordable, scalable, and customizable connected universe. That's the 2.0 technologies where we body and that's what we have we've built yeah, you know, yeah absolutely because you know you want the best in class for everything you, you have so you might as well you know if, you know be able to put the pieces of the puzzle together and the nice thing about you know the cre collaborative is that 
even though you've got all these different puzzle pieces, they all mesh together on CRE Collaborative. That is what we do. That's our goal. I, I can't remember the last time I put together a real puzzle, but I can remember how frustrating it is to not have the right piece to finish the puzzle. Well, we're going to give you the right piece. We're going to fill in that gap for you on the Siri Collaborative side. Whereas Quantum Listing is going to actually get you the person to buy the puzzle. <laughs> <We're> gonna, <laughs> uh, you as brokers, owners, investors, depending on what your role is, you have to have the assets and the, the processes. We can simply accelerate. You know, the process is just a set of steps. But when applying computing power, it's the difference between having a building full of researchers, again, we won't name who, and having computers consistently and exponentially increasing your ability to, to understand more and to see more. Uh, so hold on, checking for questions. Posting, uh, listing, we've got the, the pricing question we covered. Uh, every market, all markets, What's what does that look like? Uh, we know? are uh, all over the United States and parts of Canada also. I mean, you can you know post anywhere in, in Canada too. It's, uh, you, know, uh, you know, there are some the bigger urban areas. We have more listings. Uh, we're growing. We have 26 plus or minus thousand active listings. Uh, you're gonna find that, you know, most of the information on our site is actually good information. It's not a lot of uh, dead weight where you have to go through, you know, dozens of listings to find the ones that are actually active. And the other nice thing is that at the top of each listing, when you click on it and go to the detail page, it'll tell you when the listing was updated. So if it was updated very recently, then you're not going to need to verify that uh, with the broker. But if you see that it's you know a few months old, then you know, maybe you're serving your client better by just confirming that it's, it's still available. So there's a, a statement in technology of garbage in, garbage out. Even if garbage in, you're filtering it somewhat, you're checking it and you're helping people get to the right information like we do. By combining our different platforms and the data sets, we have real-time owner data and transaction data. So if a listing comes on, for instance, for sale, and then there's a transaction that occurs in the tax record, our system is going to flag that and work to pull down that listing. This, again, is another way that by combining data from multiple places, all of a sudden you have more intelligence. You're no longer looking through 30 listings because, oh, wait, no, it's that's been closed. That's a huge ad value. It's what we as brokers used to do in our head when we worked in, you know, 20 square miles. Now we work in much bigger markets and we can't do it all in our head. And that's just evolution. You also have a, a build out partnership. We do and very easily syndicate their listings to us from build out. Uh, just make sure you check the box that uh, the you have the rights to the images so that the images flow with the rest of the information. Those on the call who don't know what Buildout is, Buildout is, an, is a templated marketing platform that takes your, you know, an input of your deal and spits out beautiful marketing pieces and distributes that information uh, to premium listing services like Quantum Listing and others. That's their distribution path. Our distribution path at Creco.ai goes any which way, uh, both outbound and inbound, which makes us unique. And then is Quantum Listing, just pointed out their open search platform, listing yeah. platform, allows the industry to actually get to your data. Yeah. So that zero Sharp. barrier to entry. Okay. Sharp um, Launch also syndicates to as well. Uh, the Sharp Launch, which is similar to Build Out, also syndicates to to our site. Remember these words: syndication, distribution, ownership. These are the, all the key questions that have to be asked as you're looking at your technology stack and optimizing for 2021. If your team isn't online on social media, they should be. We can have that conversation. We can show you how, even without an IT department or CTO or a marketing VP, how you can be where you need to be, especially given that the majority of the industry, 4.4 million of us, are not at a level where we're going to hire all that staff, especially today. We're going to reduce costs. But just because you're reducing costs doesn't mean you have to reduce your, your uh, availability or your profile. Matter of fact, you should have a higher profile if done right, because a lot of the bigger brokers can't necessarily move the way we will. You will. Uh, I know for case in fact, when I was building my brokerage up to three states, 400 agents, 13 offices in partnership with Higgins, 
my highest value to my clients was the my availability, my high touch relationships with them above and beyond a big box brokerage because I could give them the attention they needed while providing the same level of reporting and data that a CBRE would give. And this allowed us to grow incredibly fast and do incredibly well. And now all of us are faced with that same choice. We can have the new tools to do better and do faster and do more, or we can, and I would recommend, based on my experience, I'm sure David would agree, finding the right tools. Um, there's a saying that nobody ever gets fired for, for buying Microsoft. There's some new tools out there that will get you incredibly far and impress your clients or your customers and make them clients, all while making you a smarter, better, faster individual in real estate, commercial, I should say. All right, uh, sorry to interrupt you there. What's uh, what's coming down the line for quantum listing as far as build, uh, building out new things, new functions? Uh, well, let's see. We've uh, always working on uh, improving our search engine optimization stuff. So. You can, uh, because it's really important for us that your listings show up on the first page of Google searches as much as possible. So uh, that's a big priority. And then we're also uh, working with a couple of different uh, brokerage firms about uh, having them come on board uh, sort of nationwide, with some of the, the franchise brokerage firms. And uh, there's one more initiative. Uh, oh, and there's another, uh, we're working with another syndication partner uh, right now uh, to get their users listing syndicated to us uh, as well. So. so more and more deals are becoming available in your platform. At Correct OEI, we have 27 million properties plus commercial properties land index in our system plus for sale, plus for lease, plus our partners, plus aggregating, blah, 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 plus closed data. You know, each company has their own data, their own dashboard that doesn't necessarily share with others. Most of the time, it's a, it's a shared collaborative, commercial real estate collaborative, where you can connect to people and properties and data you need to transact. For less than the cost of cable at $59 a month, we give you the My Social tool and some pre-built connectivity out to Quantum Listing. Others, specifically, we give you brand checks, Quantum Listing, a e-sign program, as well as Agile CRM, the CRM. So these are all partner technologies. I welcome you to join them, look at them, see what they do for you. More importantly, I invite you to just have an assessment of this. I know the DNA of CRE just went out every year. For those that haven't seen it, uh, it asks you a bunch of questions. It's very similar to an assessment you do with us. What are you doing? What did you do last year? What did you use? What was the problem you faced? We'll present to you a toolbox solution, customize our, our system to meet that need and nine times out of ten if not 99 percent of the time it's going to need a public listing service like quantum listing to become effective and we'll provide that connectivity as far as enterprise licenses and above and beyond we do have marketing advisory partners and social partners technology partners that will just come work with you so we become your outsourced cto your it department in effect just don't ask us to come set up uh, wiring in your building, if you're still at an office, assumably, which I assume people will go back to. But working remote today, being online, you now have the opportunity to really take advantage and grow and then stand out. Newcomers or existing real estate professionals. Now you can be as valuable as you need to be. Assuming you're willing to put in the work and show up, nine tenths of the, the work is showing up, and then having the tools to be of value. That's where quantum listing comes in, that's where Krako comes in. Land checks and these others. Did I miss anybody? No. Sharp launch on your end. Sharp <laughs> um, And then, how do people find you, David? It's the last one. Uh, sure. So uh, you can go to quantumlisting.com, and there are all sorts of ways to contact me uh, that are visible on the site. And you can also uh, email me at david at quantumlisting.com. All right, perfect. To to people and uh, and Andreas will you know tell you this uh, from his own experience as well. That one of the great things about talking to people uh, is that you have such good ideas, and you know we only know the way that we do things and what we learn from others. And you know the more people you talk to, the more people you're learning from, and uh, the more ideas that you get. 
and uh, and then we can share them right back with you. So, where this business is built on relationships, those relationships are built usually at breakfast, lunch, and today you, know, you can do it digitally. There's nothing stopping you from attending a digital webinar, even at an event. I've been to a few. Some are better than others, but you should be out there growing still constantly, updating your persona, your profile, your business to match. That's yeah, absolutely. We started doing something we call a virtual lunch. Um, yeah. uh, and, you know, it's great. So you can have either a Zoom type of thing or, or just talk to people and you know, schedule out, you know, virtual lunches with people just the way you would real lunches because, uh, you know, everybody... Better. you don't have to pay the whole bill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or find a parking space either. I know a few people have found great parks and lots to meet clients and you know, bring your own. But uh, you, you see, if you look at the broader tech community outside of real estate, there are social media platforms like Clubhouse and others. I mean, people want to be connected, especially now. And presenting value, being a value, and getting your brand in front of them, you're going to connect you into your business. It's been an incredible 2020 and then 2021 is looking up in all aspects. In my opinion, it's just a matter of getting together and connecting. And hopefully by next year, back at ICSC in Vegas, I hope. <laughs> 2020 was for practice, Andreas. 2021 is the, the real year. The pros? Game time. <laughs> That's fair. That's a fair statement. I love that. There's no other questions at this time. For Correcto AI, to reach us, you can go to crecollaborative.com, commercialrealestatecollaborative.com or creco.ai, or you can always call us at 203-307-2242, 203-307-2242. Build your profile, get online, become a collaborator, CRE collaborator, get connected to the technology you need, the people you need, and the assets that will help you transact more in new markets. With that, why click one medical? Is medical the biggest behind you? Oh, uh, one, one click oh, search medical. Okay, so basically, one of the things that we like to do is make things easy for visitors to our site. So we set up uh, a lot of one click searches. So we have one, a one click search for medical for sale, one for industrial, one for retail, one for office, one for land, uh, and you know, just another way to help promote our members. Make it simple. Yeah. and make it simple and uh, you know you can click on it intentionally or impulsively and uh, you know you'll you can always go back and, and start your search over again if you don't <laughs> find what you're looking for but uh, you know, we, we like to get uh, you know try to prompt you a little bit to to act what happens if I have a question and I'm on here and I, I you know I, I get stuck what yeah. happens uh, all right, good question. Thanks for asking that one. We have a few different ways to do it. one uh, on just about every single page on our site. There is at the bottom right corner a little smiley face uh, speech bubble, and you can click on that and start a conversation uh, with us with uh, Intercom. Uh, you can uh, click the schedule a demo button, which is at the top of just about every single one of our pages as well, and set up a five, ten, one hour meeting, you know, not five hour, ten hour meeting, a five minute, <laughs> ten minute, or one hour meeting, uh, you know, however long it works for you. And uh, so another way, our phone number is 844-QL1-LIST. Uh, so, uh, that's our uh, our band number, oh. and uh, you know, of course, you can email me at you know David at Quantum Listing or you know info survey, you know uh, customer service or whatever you want. We'll get it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we'll, so, you know, so basically, if I have a problem and I'm a user, I can reach out, and you're going to work with me in a very very uh, high touch environment to make sure it gets my outcome. Oh, absolutely. We uh, and our. our Customer success uh, manager Julia is amazing. She uh, is, you know, knows the answer to everything. Uh, in the rare instance that she doesn't, she will admit oh, it and, and find out how to get the right answer, which is, you know, 
super important when somebody doesn't know that they actually let you know that they don't know, but they will get you the answer. Uh, we have a fantastic how it works section on our site that has a good zillion articles about all our different features. If we miss something, you can ask a, a direct question uh, in the contact us section. So there's lots of ways uh, to you know, make yourself uh, heard. You're not a number to us in a system. You're a relationship that has to grow, and that's unique. For those that missed the call, please join us every month, third Thursday at 12 p.m. Central, where we invite in industry leaders like David and others to talk about their technology, to talk about our technology, and to thank Nightcar for their partnership and their forward thinking ability and drive to get you the tools you need. So thank you to you all. I hope you have a great start to 2020. I look forward to seeing you in February. David. Yeah, thank you, Andreas, and thank you, Nikar. Uh, always uh, a pleasure to uh, talk with you. And, uh, and for anybody who's, who's watching, you know, feel free to reach out and, and hit me with your question.